Okay, hello fans. Uh, I am Silvio Samuel. I am BB Pro, a bodybuilder. I'm presently 32 years old, and uh, I was born to a mother and father uh, who are Nigerian, then happened to born in Brazil. I did my earlier life growing up uh, in Spain, uh, as well as uh, visiting a lot of countries, uh, Nigeria, US, Brazil, uh, Bulgaria, Russia, and a lot of other countries. Uh, which from there accumulated a lot of interest uh, in sport uh, generally. I uh, started a uh, wall of sport uh, when I was 13 years old. That was a different sport entirely, uh, which was uh, weightlifting. And I grew up 10 years uh, doing weightlifting up to international level, even winning up to world championship, and as well as participating in uh, Commonwealth Games and uh, uh, Olympic Games. Uh, it's been an interesting sport to me and uh, generally the traveling also added to a lot of experiences and uh, uh, of which I had to learn and as, as well that built me up to be a man. Uh, I finally decided to stay and uh, accumulate a lot of my time uh, growing in Spain uh, for almost 13 years. And that makes me to uh, get on with the sport in bodybuilding. Uh, when I had already uh, lift, lifting uh, heavier weights with the uh, weightlifting that I was doing before, and the interest for uh, bodybuilding came 2000 uh, when I actually left uh, weightlifting for about two years because of the operation I had. Uh, which kept me off from the uh, active uh, lifting of weight and training. This goes a long way. It was like kind of uh, uh, something I wasn't even thinking it's going to be like uh, uh, getting more interest on the spot because I had a job doing, but I was doing it like a hobby uh, until uh, the first year, 2001, winning the World Championship in Greece, attend. Then uh, 2002, repeating the same thing. So then uh, I thought uh, to myself as well, it could be the sport I could as well uh, uh, gain a lot of uh, uh, prestige and a lot of uh, honor if I might do it and dedicate more interest and really knowing exactly what it takes to be uh, a good bodybuilder. That didn't stop there. I went as far as still going on winning all my show that's representing Spain internationally until finally uh, 2004 when I uh, apply I won a show Joe Wither trophy uh, which actually exposed me to having my pro card. Uh, generally life was not really uh, an easy going for me uh, in Spain as uh, I did uh, had to work so hard and then uh, try to make a uh, a living personally and as well sponsoring myself in the sport I was doing because I had no sponsor. Uh, I, I had nothing, uh, no help, no push up even. Uh, that makes things really difficult. But uh, actually, if I will tell you that it's because of the interest I really had and uh, the patient, uh, mostly the love I have for the sport, that makes me too. Uh, strive very hard and work harder on other avenues like the security, working in the night and then trading by day, uh, keeping money apart from expenses I had and I also have to pay my traveling uh, and uh, hotel bills in order to compete internationally. And that really pays off because internationally I was known all over Europe. I repeated up to about five years uh, world champion winning the class and also overall winner. Then uh, uh, I matured uh, Mr. Universe also in the Navarra and Waba sector, which uh, really uh, exposed me to the world of bodybuilding. Turning pro uh, wasn't really uh, going to be stopping over there. My career then went as far as uh, uh, coming over to US. And uh, that made my move 
immediately after I got my pro card, just 2006, uh, June, and that was just three months uh, to the uh, New York Pro. And uh, I had to come over to US, even though I had been preparing for, uh, for that very particular show. Uh, then uh, within a short time, I had my pro card. It was a great moment for me to take a move and then come for a first pro show. Uh, that was in New York and actually it was a very great experience for me because uh, uh, there I was exposed to how the life type, uh, lifestyle of competing in a pro level was really and it was a kind of something I wanted to really come and learn because that's the basic thing I came to US to do at the first uh, thinking come and learn and know how to be up there and then prepare myself for future. Not really a year or two, but probably might be something of about three years to come. So that achievement really paid off uh, when I was placed among the finals and then I was placed 14th. Then there were a lot of uh, comments and uh, good advice also from all time pros, big pro bodybuilders like Flex Whaler, Sean Ray, Bob Shikilelo and uh, a lot of others talking to me, giving me advice to really stay back and then uh, get on the show because it's just that I wasn't being known and obviously it was, I was just new uh, to the scene of a pro bodybuilding American level. Nobody knew who I was so that issue pays off because I stayed back and uh, trained over here in the US last year and I went for my second show uh, which was the uh, Europa Super Show in Arlington, Texas. It was a great uh, lifting uh, from the 14th position in the uh, New York uh, Pro Show uh, to the sixth place in Europa Super Show last year. Uh, that didn't stop them. I strive to really go higher in, in uh, acquiring my uh, achievement. Went as far as going to Santa Susana and then I got uh, fourth place. That was towards the end of the year, and it was the last show for the Olympia, which actually cut off point on the Olympia was uh, third place, and I was fourth place. Then uh, uh, I summed up my own courage, and then I made up my mind just to get on and uh, uh, start my preparation for this year first show, which is the Iron Man show. And uh, I started my preparation in November last year and uh, also planning to make a move, totally change up everything, and then probably change my staying and move down to US. Which everything went on according to how I planned. And uh, this year, January uh, 2007, I was here in US, getting myself prepared for the show uh, by February, which was the Iron Man show. The show really went on very fine and actually I uh, did put up the best I could and it was the best performance and it still went on. I was placed in top five, uh, which was the basic cutoff qualification for the Olympia. Then I was fourth position and I had my qualification for the Olympia. Uh, to me, I went back home uh, because uh, bodybuilding is not only lifting weight. To me, I see it as a kind of you have to study your game. It's a game plan all to together. And I get home and then I start doing my homework well, uh, thinking on, it's not only going to stop here. I have to go on two, three, four more shows in order to really get myself prepared and then get focused, know the basic thing that is being needed there to be on top of the uh, platform with the big time pro bodybuilders, rub shoulder to shoulder and post by post and then really learn the basic things that they needed. So uh, I lack a lot of experience as I knew myself personally. I lack a lot of uh, uh, posing system, but that didn't stop me from learning because I came here to learn. So I had to move on from show to show. And uh, the second show was a Sacramento show, which a little bit of the experience I learned paid off. I came second. So from there, I was invited to the big show which is the second big in the world after Olympia, the Arnold Classic. 
uh, Arnold Classic pull up to be a very great show for me. It was the uh, the best I could ever see myself competing with the, all the big top pro bodybuilders. Uh, to name with like Lester Jackson, uh, Victor, uh, Martin, Phil Hills, uh, Ostabo Badel, uh, Tony Freeman, uh, Bench Warren, and the rest of all others. But it was a kind of a pull through for me uh, because uh, I did come top six in the show. Uh, in every show, really, the results give me most of a boost to my morale. And uh, with that, it pushed me up further to go home and then go back to the gym and work harder and really ask people, a lot of experts, what do I lack? What do I need to really get to be at the top there? So all this advice really helped a lot and I strive on further to go on the next show, uh, which was the New York show. And the New York show I came fit place. Uh, I was okay because it was a show that I started my pro career and it, then it was a kind of real great change from the 14 I was last year to even fit top five. Then progress still move on. Uh, it was so it, it's easy and it, it's like I can't be pulled out from the top five in all the shows. Then I still went on because I was like a hungry lion. I was looking for more. Uh, apart from landing, I was also looking for a better victory as well. Then all this space of going further uh, in Kingston, Pennsylvania show, uh, which also I was fit position. Then went further to the uh, Colorado Sean Ray uh, Pro Show in Denver. And uh, really this, uh, this was one of the great shows that uh, uh, I really started making moves. And it's like, welcome to pro bodybuilding. And from that show, it really, uh, I brought out the best I could and I was in the best shape also. Uh, and that was where I was trying to really correct my uh, perfection. And I came taught in the show. Uh, it could have been the last show I wanted to do for the year after I had been uh, in, seven show, in six shows, getting top five and also on the six shows qualifying at the same time for the Olympia. So I wanted to put a stop there in order to prepare myself to go for the Olympia. But then uh, I found out that during the wear of my training on a long course, I was still keeping up in good shape I was still making things, it was like as if I'm still fresh to compete the following day. Uh, then I think to myself, it could be better if I might look for a win. Looking for a win could as well help me so much on the call out for the Olympia, which I would be. And then also a win also might really make the difference on the look on actually uh, who is the spicy. So uh, I did uh, go and prepared uh, a lot about uh, uh, getting into the uh, Europa Super Show. So uh, I'll tell you like uh, in the uh, Europa Super Show uh, was not going to be easy because there you have uh, there were a lot of big guys that got in, like uh, Will Billmore and Bill also. Uh, also, Quincy Taylor was there. Uh, just thought it was a show that you have to see all these big guys with all above 310 and 20 pounds uh, going against the big guys. So uh, it was really an uh, interesting show. Then, uh, my reason why I had to go into the show was just to look for a win and then go for the Olympia, like I said, uh, with a win. Though there was a lot of other moves, a lot of uh, side talks, a lot of uh, 
kind of uh, provocation words, which actually that don't count on my own preparation. I don't see that to be any move or disturbance for my preparation. I'm a short guy. I'm a little guy. I will uh, never come since I have been here in the U.S. Uh, one has never got me on scale to say it actually get my real body weight. Uh, first time it happened, it was with all the wears that was in Iron Man show, which I was about 226. And actually that wasn't the true body weight which I have. Normally I came in and I've been competing right from the first show uh, with 218. And uh, with the whole show going down to six shows, then I came down up to about 214. So with 214, three weeks to the show of uh, Europa Super Show, uh, I see no reason why I didn't have to take a good decision like I did to at least just drop down four or five pounds and then get into below 210. So that was actually the decision. So I, when I took that and it was real perfect and it got down to 206. It was uh, really a great surprise to everyone in the, in the weigh-in hall because it was a kind of a call of attention when actually they asked me, are you going to compete in both class, both category, the under 10 and above? Then I say yes. A lot of people say, people say, come on, you can make the under 210. Then I knew what I was weighing and I had to keep silent and wait until the time of the weighing. The shock and surprise came when I climbed up the scale and they announced of openly and it was all wide and clear for everybody 206 and the number was called again to be repeated and then came the surprise in the eyes and the face of everybody even up to Queen's Hotel. So the shape I brought into that very competition uh, really people look at it they knew the game was over. I'm personalizing myself with the confidence and the expert, let me say the experts are calling to really help me in doing my pre presentation, helping me in uh, how to pose and the training mostly, uh, the training of Charles Glass. Uh, Charles Glass really played a, a, a great role to my uh, evolution changes and also uh, with a few time I was with him, he was able to really focus on what I really need, the body part I have to really work with uh, and to really improve and what really the judges needed to see in a quality body like what I have to really get the, uh, the top post in the competition. And that goes a long way with Bob also getting uh, into to show me kind of uh, posing and uh, that helps also in the presentation. Not talking less of uh, a great help like uh, the present Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler. Uh, this guy has been a good ambassador to the uh, uh, sport, uh, bodybuilding as a whole. And he is also a very nice and kind person. Personally, he has a real heart uh, to help the young ones that uh, he really see is uh, really having the willing mind to learn and get into the sport. Uh, I was new in this game. I didn't know when to eat, what to do, how to eat. So I think uh, Jay came into that very aspect and then really correct me on my form of eating, what I should eat actually basically and what uh, and the time I have to eat. Uh, when I'm on, uh, hungry in the night, actually what I have to eat uh, at a certain time to increase the body weight, to bring down the body weight and uh, all the stuff that uh, could have been good. And that is on that part. Also a great person as well, like I will tell you also was Sean Ray. Uh, all these guys just came around. It was if something money could pay, I don't think I can pay all these guys, but they just do it voluntarily and uh, they bring out their heart because they know what is the sport all about. And uh, Sean really helped a lot in my stability in the US. And uh, no matter whatever anybody might say, money can buy everything, but this guy just bring out all his mind and then uh, help me. It was everything I could need to start with. He was there to give me at the point. So those are the kind of his like uh, my progress working towards the Olympia came as a teamwork. Uh, 
and not just world also I would like a great person also to be a name on this very video also which is uh, Dave uh, the actual let me see the director and uh, co-manager of uh, Max Muscle uh, Dave plays a really great role uh, in my transporting my stability as well uh, over here because in US you cannot just come in like I came in and then you see people all running around. I didn't have a car and I don't have, he was there always to take me along driving every day. I mean every day because I'm not just two kilometers down here to train. We drive every day from California, Fullerton town to uh, Venice Beach whereby I'm training every day and it brings me back. He's always there at any time I need it. He, 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 he offered himself uh, to all my services and uh, it's just like a brother. So along the way I have to thank everybody. I thank all these guys all that makes things to happen to me and then work as a team. Uh, this DVD will really expose most of my life, uh, my lifestyle, my life generally, body in and out of training and uh, all the guys around me. Uh, so uh, to this point, I will really tell you that uh, with all this I'm, telling, I'm saying, with the team that is working together, with the competition I've been doing, I can now focus myself and then go to the Olympia with all assurance and real full confidence that I'm going there to make the best out of my own self. So come what may, I'm not just done in bodybuilding. I'm just a newcomer, I'm still here to learn, and I believe with time, apart from this, not the only one, DVD you have to see. From this, I think we put a stepping stone to the best that is yet to come in bodybuilding. And I'm here to stay, I will tell you, and I'm working so hard to make sure that I strive more harder and harder, and it's gonna be as a kind of good lesson so if you are bigger, you will still be learning from Silvio's DVD. If you are a smaller guy, you will still have a lot also to learn. That is it. Then I will really have to give great thanks also. Because uh, it's like, I will say it's like a kind of ladder. If you want to climb a ladder, if there is nobody to hold on to the down of the ladder, you cannot feel so secure to climb up because you might think you will fall. That goes to the two big sponsors that I have, which is the Joe Wither, uh, the publishing company like the Flex Magazine, uh, which really makes things to happen for me while my state here in US. They gave me a good contract uh, just to start with. And then that really helped me because I needed just the push to be able to have my stability and then really know what I organize and what to do and how to start with and to li really live the life of bodybuilding because it hasn't been easy if I have to tell you while I was in Spain I have to walk 18 hours all over the night. People know that I had to make ends meet because I feel find myself to be this is an interesting sport I'm doing and all what I need to do I had to walk extra to really push myself up there. But here I am in US, signing a contract, doing what I love to do, just because I'm being paid for. So great thanks to Joe Weather, uh, the owner of Flex Magazine, and also the Muscle and Fitness. Uh, also, I have to extend the great thanks also to my great company also, which is the Muscle Tech on the supplement uh, company too. Supplement downline, uh, group plays a great role in nutrition system for bodybuilders, everybody knows that. And uh, these guys came into uh, sponsoring me, boosting up my morale and also giving me the necessary things, support, uh, he, uh, human and otherwise. And that really helped me uh, to add more to my success up to the, this moment. It's not going to stop there, I know, because uh, it's a great company that still wants my services. And I really have to thank them because uh, uh, their help really makes me to really go on and on and then be where I am at this moment because 
if we are being paid for what you know a lot of love to do and it's like paying for your transport paying for your uh, flight ticket paying for your hotel is kind of extra morale boosting you up to really go for the goal and the goal is just what i'm doing training hard trying to be there if it is top five if it is top three if it is number one whenever it's gonna come i'm there i want to be there and i love to be there so i thank you all and i believe this will be of a great lesson what i have major uh, advice i could give to everybody whatever you have to do no matter how hard and difficult you have to go just always have patience wait for your time because whenever you have patience the times will not wait for anybody certainly it's gonna come for you so if i am where i am now it's because of the patience i have and the confidence i have in myself and in this spot that one day i'm gonna reap what i saw and if i am here at this moment i want to tell you is because i have paid my due and it is a due time so just that thank you